I don't know. I wanted to rep me being on Arch, which I've been on for a year now. It was August 29th was my uh, anniversary of being on Linux. I, mm -hmm. And to emphasize how, why I even switched to Linux for people who haven't watched the last episode with me, it was because I wanted to run Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, and it didn't want to load. That was, that was the crux! That gotta be like, fuck it! Spring system change, sure! I can't think of many people who will swap to Linux because a game won't work. Usually well, that's how you for leave a while. it. Well, I, I wanted to switch for a while. I had, uh -huh. like, Linux experience. I dabbled with Ubuntu when I was in middle school. Dabbled with Arch and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I had the experience, and I was planning on switching at the end of the year, but I was like, fuck it. I'll do it earlier by, like, six months. Mm hmm And yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been pretty happy with being on Arch. Like, mm -hmm. there have been issues. Like, um, I remember there was this one video you made that you referenced me in it. It was the Marvel Rivals thing. Mm -hmm. It was, like, uh, it had, like, a, a delay, like, a, just froze for a few seconds. And, like, they fixed mm -hmm. that or whatever. It was that. It was also... Oh, right, I um, forgot some... about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, that game is bu <laughs> buggy at launch. And we found that out on a stream together when we were playing Marvel Rivals. You we were like, mm -hmm. what is this shit? And everyone's like, I don't know what it is. And I'm like, well, me and Brody are experiencing it. This is a Linux thing. We found yeah, it was, it was a like Linux a, thing. I think it was like a shader cache issue, if I remember correctly. Something I think it was like a debug thing. Yeah, yeah, they'd left. Yeah, right. They left a debug file in yes. and it was constantly pinging something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, that was an issue. Um, there was also, like, some game's memory leak. Mm -hmm. When I played this one game called Guilty as Sock, it just crashed my entire PC. Um, I don't know why that happened. Mm -hmm. I was also trying to play Soul Reaver on stream, and uh, that crashed my PC twice. I lost, like, an hour or two of progress, and I dropped the game because of it, because, like, mm -hmm. I don't want to play a game that's going to make me crash my entire PC, you know? <laughs> Yeah, that's um, fair. That's fair. But that's the only two issues I've had with like. Oh, and also, um, when I was on uh, X11 for mm. a, a lot of the time, like Steam crashed often. Where it's like if you you hover your mouse over a bunch of games on your game list, it just frees the entire client and crash it. Um, and. Some other some other stuff, but like I fix it. It's all sorted. I like I'm not other people who's like, oh my god, a minor setback. Time to go back to Windows. Mm -hmm. No, I have a lot of strong willpower to like. Okay, what's what am I evaluating with this? How can I fix it? How can I work around this? Basically, because mm -hmm. in order to use Linux, you have to have a bit of technical knowledge in order to like a bit. solve if, issues. If not technical knowledge, at least the willingness to learn. The willingness yeah. to read documentation, the willingness to actually expand your knowledge, not just, oh, it broke. Why broke? Yeah. You have to, like, look up a lot of stuff on the Arch Linux forums, go and stack overflow forums, find out for yourself. Mm -hmm. DM in a friend group you have that may or not have this guy in here and be like, what's the problem? What do I do? And then have Ren be like, you stupid bitch, it's this option. <laughs> to be fair, I don't know how Ren breaks so much stuff. I've, I've, yeah, I've called it the curse of Ren because he'll just run into issues that nobody else has. Yeah, pretty much. Um, like I, I love, I love Ren. Obviously, he's <laughs> great. He's the first Linux VTuber. He, I talk to him all the time. He's great. But like, sometimes he can be like, I have this issue that like no one else has gotten. What? And I'm like, why haven't you switched to Arch yet? <laughs> He was Nobara still, I think. Yeah, he he was trash talking Nobara on stream for like two hours, and he was like, "I'm gonna leave Nobara," and he just didn't. <laughs> Why doesn't he switch? I you know, know. He, I don't know. You have to ask friend. <laughs> or like uh, an OS that I have been repping for a while is Pika OS. Like that's the <laughs> one I have on my laptop. I recommend it to people. That's basically like if you want like one beginner friendly distro you just want something that works and is optimized peak os mm -hmm. because it's based on debian which is like the most stable base you can do for linux is what arch uh not arch is what ubuntu mm -hmm. has for its stuff and pop os um it's got a lot of optimizations i think it has the 
Cache OS kernel or like some variation, like an optimized kernel or whatever. But it's like easy to use. It has flat packs pre installed, like all of it. It's perfect for someone who's like, I don't want to deal with the technical knowledge of Arch and having manual interventions every like six months. I have something that plug and plays, works, does all my shit. That's Peak OS. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the one. If it had like a little more funding and a little more like widespread support, mm -hmm. It would be the operating system. It would be the distro, basically. Yeah, PCOS can kind of gets overshadowed by Nabara because they are basically the same idea. It's yeah. just Nabara is one's Fedora. using Debian and one's yeah. using Fedora. Yeah, but it's like most of what PCOS does is done on Nabara as well. It's just a Debian base, so yeah. people just don't really talk about it anywhere near as much, which is kind of sad because mm. I've I've talked to the devs before and the devs are doing great work. Yes, they're a great project, but they just need a little more, like, financial support, and they'd be, like, perfect, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, I hope some big YouTubers will come in and be like, like, Linus should do a fucking Linux challenge again and be like, I'm using PicoOS, and it would be perfect, you know? If Linus isn't a Linux channel, uh, challenge, I'd, it's going to be Bazite. It's going to be... Yeah. Every, every big YouTuber is like, Bazite, because it looks like SteamOS. And that's fun. The, also, Bazite's a great project. I've talked to the Bazite dev, mm. but like, there are the things issue... that exist outside of Bazite. The issue with Bazite is that atomic distros aren't exactly the best on desktop environments. Mm. If you want like a gaming box, like a Raspberry Pi or whatever, you know, sort of like, I'm not doing any sort of stuff other than just gaming. Yeah, yeah, like a home theater PC, gaming box, yeah. want to replace like whatever's pre-installed on your ASUS handheld. I think it make, yeah, it makes a lot yeah. of sense for that. Yeah, but if you're wanting like an uh, operating system that's like a more general desktop environment, you want to do stuff other than like gaming, you want to do streaming, you want to do creative stuff, you want to go on GIMP or Krita or whatever, then like... Don't do Bazite or really any atomic distro. That's not what it's really there for. The I guess it could also be good for like grandma users, like mm -hmm. atomic distros. Yeah, if like you're people who's like, I just want a web browse, just do that. Yeah, yeah. If everything you do is in a browser, like, yeah, pretty much anything's gonna work can... really. Yeah, 